Do you want to connect multiple products together like they are variants? Well, that's what we needed to do with one of the Shopify apparel stores we're managing. By using AI to automate, they've been able to push their volume and grow their design and product catalog. But many of the designs are printed on different products. Without linking them together somehow, customers wouldn't even know they have the option to get that design on a hoodie instead of, let's say, a t-shirt. So what I'm gonna show you today is what the problem the store had and how we made a quick customization to solve it so that you can do it for yourself too. Let's take a look. So we're looking at our demo store here and we can see three products. There's a t-shirt, a long sleeves, and a hoodie, all with the same design. And if we want to go into any one of these products, we can see we have these different options here. Um, you can choose the color, you can choose the size. All right, so that's good. But if you are a customer and you landed on the t-shirt, you might not know that there's a long sleeve version of it or a hoodie version. With our store here, we only have three products, so it's pretty easy to see that. But the other store we were working on, they have thousands of products. And so the chances of seeing that there's these other garment types that they could get that design on is going to be pretty low. And so in an ideal case, they'll have another variant option here where they can choose the style that they print that design on, whether it's a t-shirt, hoodie, or a long sleeves. And so it could look a little bit like this. So I've created a secondary listing here where these are actually linked together. And so you can see here, now we have a style option. And if we select long sleeves, it'll take us to the long sleeves listing. If we select hoodie, it'll take us to the hoodie listing. And so that's a simple customization that we're going to show today. It's what we helped implement on this other store. And it's been really great for them because it allows them to um, consolidate all these different products together just for a better customer experience. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into our themes area and we're gonna make some edits to the code. Don't worry, it's gonna be really simple uh, edits. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna revert back to a previous version of our uh, theme. Um, I just made a backup, and this is the version that doesn't have any of that uh, linking together applied. So if I actually refresh this page, we're gonna see those go away. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and edit the code here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new snippet. So we'll go down to snippets here and then add new snippet. And we're gonna call this um, product style picker custom. Okay. And then we have this script here that I'm just gonna copy and paste in. Okay, that's basically it right there. Um, and we're going to go to uh, actually save first, and then we're gonna go to our main dash product. And we're gonna look for a variant picker. Okay, so right around here is where it renders the original variant picker code. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add a line to render the code that we just created. Oh, sorry. I think it was, it had all of the previous code in there. So let's just try that again. There, okay. So now we're creating um, a check to see if there is a meta field that's present, and we'll show you. We'll, we'll take a look at what that means later. Um, and if it is present, then it will render the snippet that we just created. Okay, so let's save that. And that's essentially it. That's that's all the code that you need to change. And so we're going to go back out, and we're going to look at the meta fields. So I've already created it because I was showing you the demo, but I'll go through the process again so you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to custom data and we're going to create 
a meta object. So it's already created here, but what we'll do is we'll say it's going to be a related product. And then we're going to add a field and we'll say single line text. And we'll call this the design group. So this is just going to be the name of the design that we want to group all these different products together. And we'll make that required. And we'll click add. And then next, we're going to add product. So, and this will be a product grouping. So this is where we select all the different products that we want to group together. And we'll make that a list because it's going to be more than one. And we'll add that as well. Um, and so I'm not going to save that because it's actually going to just give me an error because it already exists. Uh, so I'll just discard that. But that's essentially what I've created here already. So that's that's this related product meta object. OK, so next, we're going to go to the product fields area, and we're going to add a definition. Again, it's already been created here, but I'll go through the process. So we're going to call this design group. And then we're going to uh, select the type meta object. And then we're going to select the related product that we just created. And so it's going to give us an error here because, again, I've already created this uh, meta field. So I'm just going to discard, but this is how to set it up. Otherwise, I'd save this. And then here, we can just take a look at the, the one that I already created. So design group. So there it is. It's um, type meta object related product. OK. And so now that we've done that, we can um, come back out and edit our products. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to come back here into our demo store. So I've updated the code again. So um, we should, if I refresh this, we should see these style variants come back out. And they do. OK. Now, that wouldn't normally happen uh, because uh, I've already done some edits to the product. But if we come to these um, listings right here, you're going to see that those uh, those listings, sorry, those style variants aren't actually there. And so we're going to make the edits to the product so that they will now show up. So we're going to go back to our products. And we have these linked ones that we're going to ignore. And we're going to go to these non-linked ones that we're going to edit now. So we're just going to bulk edit these. And we're going to make sure that we have the design group meta field column checked so that we can edit it. And we're going to take a look at it. And we're just going to select our entry, the prompted original. Um, now, that ex this wouldn't exist until you actually create the custom field. So I'll show you how we do that. And then we're going to come back and make that edit. So if we come to content, we're going to add an entry. Right, so that that's that entry that exists right there. We're going to pretend it wasn't there, and we're going to call this the prompted original. So that's the name of the design. Right, so this is the prompted original T-shirt, and the prompted original long sleeves, the prompted original hoodie. So we're just going to call this the prompted original, and we're going to group our products together. So we've got this non-linked ones that we're going to group together. Add that. So now we're saying in this in this uh, uh, meta object that these three products are going to be linked together, and the code that we created is going to be looking for this uh, for this object here and these linkings together to to create that uh, to, to help create those variants on the page. So let's save that. We can't because it already exists, right? So I'm just going to discard that. Um, so that's what we would do to create this um, entry right here. And now that the entry exists, we're going to go back to our products. And we're going to edit them. So let's do a bulk edit. We'll select the ones we want. We'll bulk edit.
and we're going to select the design group here. So I'm just gonna apply it to the other ones. We'll save. And once that's in place, if I come back in here, we should see those variants available. And there we go. So long sleeves, hoodie, t-shirt. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward customization that any one of you can apply to your store just to help create a little bit of a better experience for your customers uh, if you have a large catalog or if you have products that you want to link together. Now, the simplest way to create this extra variant here is actually just to add that third variant option in your product. The problem with that is that Shopify has a limitation of 100 variants per product. And if you've got this large catalog where you need to link a lot together, you can't exactly do that. So this is the alternative. And if it works for you, then that's awesome. So I hope that helped. And let me know if you have, uh, if anything wasn't clear in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.